Okay, welcome. Welcome back to this channel. This is Unfiltered Forex. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Fed CME. Okay, the CME group Fed Watch Tool. The CM. Let me first show you how to get it. See this link? CMEgroup.com. Just go to CMEgroup.com. Once you're there, you can see the all these tabs. Just click markets. And then once you're here, go to interest rates here interest rates click that then once you're here you have to scroll scroll down till where you see you see now US Treasuries SOFR Fed funds yeah this is now where you click here the view the CME Fed watch click it's going to take you to this page then here you can see CME Fed watch tool this is how you get it Yep, do the latest probabilities of FOMC rate moves. The next meeting is in 34 days, 6 hours, 2 minutes, and 7 seconds. Yeah, there's a timer. It's usually there. So this is the this is the chart showing probabilities for the next meeting. This is probabilities for 31st June 2024 Fed meeting. Current target range is um, 525 to 550 base points. This is where we are. So 83% of market participants are expecting, 83% of market participants are expecting a pause from the Fed because this is the current rate. Yeah, well, yeah, this is the current rate. You can see here current target rate. And 16% of market participants are expecting a rate cut. So this is how the probabilities are currently if you want to look at probabilities for the next meetings you come here you see this fed watch tool target rates this is current this is where we are you just come here to probabilities don't go to compare go to probabilities yeah this is now where we have this table this table is a table of probabilities for the meetings listed here let's zoom in yep that's better so as you can see currently this video i'm doing it on december 28th yeah it's 28th almost the end of the year so the meetings here are for next year the whole of next year actually from january 2024 to december 2024 there are only eight fed fomc meetings in a year and they are all here and we can see the probabilities so considering now that this is the current interest rates that means the market is not expecting any more hikes you can see all these numbers going this way these are lower than the current one so these are rate cuts the market is expecting interest rates to come next year and the market is not expecting any more rate increases so now let's look at the table itself this is january march may july this is july or june i think this is june and then this is july yeah and then september meeting the november meeting and then the december meeting so all these are meetings fomc meetings for next year and these now are the probabilities so this 83 percent for example it means for the meeting of january 31st 83% of market participants are currently expecting a pause. All right. And then moving on, all these now going backwards. Remember, we said the, all those are rate cuts. So the market is expecting the first rate cut to come on. Yeah. First rate cut to come in the second meeting of 2024. This is on March. The market is a 74% probability of the first rate cut coming on March next year. That's the second meeting, the second FOMC meeting of the year. And then from then on, you go like this, go like this. Yeah, the market is expecting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rate cuts for next year right yeah it's just counting the boxes majority of much market participants are expecting seven rate cuts 
next year. And it's the majority because it's highlighted in blue. Yeah, the majority, where the majority are, it's the highest percentage is highlighted in blue. It's the blue rectangle. So as you can see, it's only one in the whole, in the whole row. Yeah, 60%. 57 percent 43 36 and on top of that there is an almost 10 percent chance of eight rate cuts for next year so yeah these are just probabilities they they are not showing they are not predictive all right because you can be sure by seven okay the seventh month of 2024 this table will be looking totally different from what it is right now because this is showing current market conditions this is not this is not a script this is not the script that the fed will follow no this is just market expectations of market participants so it's just it's just they're just probabilities all right and that's it if you want to go if you want to go deeper in your analysis you can just go here and meeting date days to meeting is no change hike this is a summary actually because as you can see the probabilities for a rate hike are zero percent yeah the market is not expecting any more rate hikes but the probability of a pause is only very high in the first meeting of 2024 the probability of a pause is very low in the second meeting of 2024 you can see only 12 percent and then the probability of a rate hike or a rate cut it's ease, easing rates there's tightening and easing tightening is hiking rates and then easing is cutting rates so when you talk about easing we mean the rate cuts so there's an 80 88 percent chance of the first rate cut to come in in March early next year and as you can see here now these probabilities are the sum of um, these ones yeah 74 plus 14 yeah that, that's going to give you 88 so you can see this this is the total of um, the the rows yeah if it's is it's from the current rate to going backwards yeah so that's it. I don't think there's anything else I have left out. So in your analysis, if you are a day trader in your analysis, this these probabilities, they do change a lot and um, very drastically. For example, I think it's today morning. Yeah, it's today morning. This was reading 12%, but already markets, market conditions have shifted and it's now at 9.4%. So this table is ever changing, but when when it's going to change drastically like um if these seven expected rate cuts if it turns to eight for them to for the market to now expect eight rate cuts that's going to mean well that usually happens when a big a big news release has just come out that's it's a big economic indicator and it's usually considered a signal for what the Fed is going to do. So like the NFPs, the CPI, yeah, those re releases, they really affect these probabilities. And these probabilities are what affect the dollar index, the strength or weakness of the dollar, and in turn, generally affects the stock market, commodity prices, other currencies. Yeah, it's, it's all here. It's all in this small table. These interest rate expectations, they are very important when it comes to market explaining what's going on in the markets. And if you are trading like Forex, you need to refer to this table almost, I can't say almost every day, but like thrice a week and refer to it more often when a major news release is coming. So you can have a bias. Like when, when it's like this, seven read cuts, and you, I'm sure you remember in the most recent FOMC meeting, they only projected three rate cuts, but the market is projecting seven rate cuts. So that's extremely dovish and bearish for the dollar. So already, even before you look at the charts, having that info, having this info, you know that 
the dollar is quite weak for now. It's quite weak, yeah. It's quite weak for probably the past week. And if these probabilities continue to stay this way, the dollar weakness is going to persist throughout the week and probably, yeah, until this thing changes. It might change to be more bad news for the dollar. It might change to be more to be good news for the dollar. But until that thing happens, this is what we have and that is what it means. Yeah, that's it for this table. It's very simple. You don't need to go to these other, you don't need to go to these other tools here. You just look at this table of probabilities because even if you look at the current, it's just giving you the probabilities for the next meeting. And the good thing about this one is you can refer back to it to see the trend of, or rather the markets, how market sentiment is changing. For example, you can see here now, one day ago, one week ago, one month ago. So this is the current rate and this is the rate cut. Now the probability of rate cut is 16.5%. So yesterday, the probability of a rate cut in the, excuse me, in the January meeting was 19%. And one week ago, the probability of a rate cut in the January meeting was 14%. So you can see for some time, for it to jump from 14 to 18, something must have happened in that one week period. This is now six days period. And then now today versus yesterday, the probabilities are quite down. So I don't want to confuse you any further. I believe you have understood up to that point. Have a, have a lovely time.